Looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the best players at each position in Madden 21 right now, guys. Now, I haven't done this video in a while. I tried defensive and offensive like a month ago, but you guys didn't really like it too much. You guys preferred the whole thing as a whole. So I'm going to be sticking to that. I'm going to be going into that and doing the whole, the whole, your whole entire team at one time. But again, that video can take a little bit longer and I do have to cut some players a bit shorter. But either way, we're going to get the, we're going to get the content across. But let's open up this pack. Still hoping, ooh, we get an elite. I think that's the first elite I've ever pulled out of that morning fantasy pack. Well, there it is. I've been hoping for an LTD and there's my first elite. But anyways, doesn't matter. Let's get into this, guys. Before we get into the video, guys, if you want to be a part of the Poodle Squad, and by the way, shout out to today's Poodle Squad member. We got True Radiant. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. If you want a chance to be shouted out, all you got to do is like the video, turn on that noti bell, and comment down below Poodle Squad. Once you do all those things, you're entered to be shouted out. And of course, if you need coins, pick up any of these players that I'm going to be going over today. All you got to do is head over to uh, MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle for 15% off your order. Take advantage. Pick up some of these cards. But to open up this pack as well. I keep getting this thing, and I really hate it because I always think it's something, and it never is. But let's get into this. Head on to the auction block and start with our players. All right, so starting off at quarterback, I'm going to give you guys two options here because, of course, it really depends on how you play. Now, it's really tough. So, if you're looking for pure speed, of course, just pure speed, you got to go with Vic, right? You take Vic, and that's all you care about is speed, read options, fast break, QB draw. Actually, he's not going to be there. He's not the most well-rounded quarterback. Frankly, I don't even know if Michael Vick's the best quarterback in the game anymore, but if you're looking at just speed, he's going to be the best quarterback for that. Card overall is good. It plays well, but it just doesn't get the passing job done. Now, if you want the passing done, it's going to be very close between Joe Montana and between um, Russell Wilson. Now, Joe Montana is pretty good. He has every single threshold with an 80 speed, but then so does Russell Wilson. But Russell Wilson's slightly faster, so I mean, it comes down to whether you or not you want height. I mean, Pretty much, guys, look at these cards. Debate between what you need for your team, right? If, you, if you're a pass-heavy squad, maybe you want the taller, more pocket passer but with some speed, Joe Montana, or even Brett Favre. If you're more of a running offense that occasionally passes when you need to, maybe you go with Russell Wilson. But if you're a pure runner that doesn't care and all you care about is breaking big plays, you go with Vic, right? So quarterback's one of those tough positions to really tell you the best one there. So I'm going to have to go with those. That open-ended one would give you reasons for each one. Because again, quarterback's tough. It really depends on your team. Like, Brett Favre is the best for a guy who knows it's a hot route master and do all that stuff. But Brett Favre won't be the best for a guy that likes to run read options and likes to run and pound the rock all game. But that's just my opinion. Now, getting over to halfback. Now, halfback, we just got a brand new beast in the game, and that's going to be Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley's far and away the best running back in the game. Uh, I think he overtook Barry because, of course, he does get plus two on Barry speed-wise. Plus two is huge because, of course, running backs were finally starting to catch up to Barry's speed, but they weren't getting his agility, his excel, his change of direction. But powered up little Saquon gets all of that, and he happens to be two speed faster. So, like, Bo was one speed faster, but Bo was just so bad at agility and change of direction everything else. Saquon's literally a stronger version of Barry Sanders. So pretty much you're getting a more power back version of Barry Sanders that can catch better as well. Saquon's a beast. He's an absolute monster. Saquon Barkley is the best running back in the game. He's just so expensive that it's going to be tough to justify buying him right now. I mean, that price point, I guess you can't say it's horrible because I've seen people pay more for Barry. But like I told you guys, I did say once someone... I said it in the other video, guys. Be on the lookout to sell Barry because the second that Barry was going to get any kind of competition that even was close to him, he was going to drop down pretty far. And he did. He came down from like 800, 900K all the way to 650. But either way, Saquon Barkley is the guy you want to go with. There's no and ifs or buts. And if you really can't afford him, guys, LT is pretty good as well. But again, still expensive regardless. I'm going to skip fullback. That's, you know, it's personal preference. Now for wide receiver, we do have the best wide receiver in Madden right now. And that's going to be Scary Terry, Terry McLaurin. Best wide receiver in Madden for multiple reasons. When you power up and chem him up, you don't even need, actually, wait up. You don't even need to chem him up. Powered up. Actually, hold up. You don't even need to power him up. Unpowered up, guys, he gets all the route running thresholds. He gets the spec catch threshold 93 speed. Now you power him up, he gets 94 speed, 88 catch and 89 catch and traffic. And I'm pretty sure if you use go deep, you possibly get that up. Or if you use play fake, whatever gets his catch and traffic up, get that up. He's going to have catch and traffic threshold, spec catch threshold, catch threshold, 94 speed, and then 
mid 90 route running depending on which one you end up taking but either way guys he's gonna run every route in the game the only thing with him is a deep threat so his um his ability is gonna be a little off but either way guys you cannot go wrong with this scary terry card best wide receiver in madden now heading over to a screenshot real quick to show you the second best wide receiver in madden this is gonna be the second best wide receiver in madden he is coming out later today so i did not i want to make sure i got him on this list you know not to just put this out there without him on there the only reason not the best is because he's, he's like three speeds slower or two speeds slower than uh terry mclaurin but the reason he's going to be almost as good because of his archetype he is a route runner archetype now here's the thing He's going to get 92 speed powered up, 94 jumping, 91 catch, 92 catch in traffic, 93 spec, 93 short route running, 90 medium route running, and 88 deep route running. So all you got to do is go ahead and put on, um, you can put on deep threat on him, get him up to 90 deep route running. So he's going to have every route running threshold, going to be slightly better catcher than Terry McLaurin, and then just have two less speed. But the difference is he's six foot three. He's really tall. He's going to have a great stiff arm, some great after the catch stuff. And the best thing is, since he's a route runner archetype, he does get like slot apprentice or you know, Route Apprentice, and all that other stuff you can get, automatic. maybe it's automatic, I'm not entirely sure on that one, but the point is, he gets other abilities that um, Terry McLaurin doesn't have, so you're going to be able to get, pretty much, you know, like when you get that guy, like, let's say that guy that's just a pure route runner, you just need him to, uh, you know, to carve people up, who well, doesn't be able to do that, and also be one of the most athletic guys in the field, so that's kind of what the glitchy thing about him is, but those are the two receivers I recommend you need. That's a tight end, guys, see, you could go Vernon Davis, but the thing is, I don't think Vernon Davis is the best one because of thresholds. The best one still is going to be Darren Waller. Now, Darren Waller is still the best one at 600 uh, AK because he's going to be the combination of the speed that you're looking for with the route running. Of course, he needs to be powered up, but once you power him up, he's going to have the catching you need. He's going to have medium and short route running. He's going to have 70 run blocking, and he's going to have 88 speed. So, Darren Waller, still the best tight end in Madden 21 right now, guys. Can't go wrong with Darren Waller at all. I mean, of course, it's still a bit expensive, but remember, there is a new series coming out pretty soon, so... That should alter his price pretty significantly. And as you guys do know, I don't go over offensive linemen, and that's simply because the thing with offensive linemen is it's all preference. Because again, there's no, there's not a, there's no such thing as a meta lineman, right? This lineman has pass block thresholds. This one has run block thresholds. I pass more, pass one. So I don't want to tell you guys you have to go this guy who's run heavy because what if you're a pass heavy guy and that lineman's not going to help you out because you're running all the you're running all game. He doesn't have good pass. Uh, he doesn't have good run block, but he has good pass block. So. Just look at it. It's very self-explanatory. Look at the numbers. Who has the best of what you do? And that's pretty self-explanatory from there on out. Now for left end. Now left end, it, it all depends on the block shed because here's the thing. A lot of people care more about block shed, but some people care more about um, style, what's it called? Pass rushing. So if you care about block shed, guys, Reggie White does get a pass rush and block shed threshold. So if you want a, a well-rounded guy that can stop the run and stop the pass, Reggie White's going to be your guy because he, he's decent athletic and he's able to get above 90 pow, uh, power movement, above 90 block shed, above 90 play recognition. Now, yes, he's not exactly the meta pass rusher, but he's going to be pretty much meta in general because he can do everything. Now, if you're looking for a meta pass rush like just Lawrence Taylor S, Javon Curse is your guy because Javon Curse will be able to get up to like a 97, 95-ish, 96-ish finesse move, which so can Reggie White, but... He's going to have 88 speed and 92 excel so he's going to be crazy athletic and just he's going to be hard to stop that's going to be the difference kind of like a julius he's going to be like a julius peppers so just take that in mind uh keep that in mind i should say now moving on to defensive tackle or right end actually right end right end's cool because we just got aaron donald but we also had deacon jones but i think aaron donald's going to be taking the cake here 300k he's coming down in price a bit which is nice 79 speed 86 excel 93 strength, 87 tackle, 92 play rec, 92 block shed, 92 power move, and 90 finesse move. So he's gonna be like the best of both worlds. Like what I just said with Javon Curse and uh, Reggie White, like he's gonna be four plus speed on Reggie White. Gonna be a little bit more athletic. Gonna be even a better run stuff. Gonna be a better pass rusher. So he, he's, if you come up and power him up, guys, his power will be above 95. Well, probably like a 96, 97, while also maintaining like a 94 strength and 80 speed, guys. Aaron Donald's your guy all around, just for the rest of Madden. I always like to just keep him in there. Uh, he's just he's just good he's good at what he does and he makes plays and he's just a big body to have on the line i love having him there and then for defensive tackle so it comes down to john randall or mean joe green of course now it comes down to what again what do you what do you value more your block shed your pass rush or your speed so john randall has 79 a 78 speed he's gonna have oh powered up 79 speed gonna have 90 excel 89 strength 90 tackle 91 play rec 89 block shed, 88 power move and 93 finesse move. so he's going to be a finesse move defensive tackle as long as you can get run stuff on him and get that block shit up plus one, he's going to be pretty good. And he's going to be a finesse with defensive tackle, which is super important. Now we check out Mean Joe Green to compare, to compare exactly what we're looking at here. So remember, I had to do the plus ones because I used the base John Randall. So now we compare him to Mean Joe Green. Now Mean Joe Green's less athletic, like by a good amount less athletic. Um, let's see. 
He's going to be better block shutter and a better power move guy. But here's the thing. So he's going to be a good block shutter and power move guy. So he's a standstill defensive tackle. John Randall is going to be faster. Going to be the same but finesse move and very slightly minimal block shed. So if you want a well-rounded guy, you don't have, you can't afford cams. You go with Mean Joe Green. But if you can afford all that stuff, John Randall is going to be your guy. He's going to be faster by a decent amount, which is important. And he's going to have the... Um, the threshold but for finesse move which i think is more important sometimes because that's just like the quicker releases and uh and you can see in price here clearly other people think similar to what i'm thinking there left outside linebacker the thing with left outside linebacker was so we just got khalil mack and we had ricky jackson now i do think that ricky jackson is still the preferred option here if we go to his ltd real quick his ltd is going to be he's gonna have 87 speed 90 excel 86 strength 91 tackle 90 play rec 91 block shit 92 power move 80 finesse move i don't even think it matters what Khalil max stats are because i know that he's less athletic than ricky jackson which is why i still rock, i'll still rock with him instead you guys he gets 87 speed 90 excel he's practically lawrence taylor you cannot go wrong with a guy like ricky jackson right now he's super he's just too fast he's so fast guys coming over to right outside linebacker right outside linebacker is going to be Derek thomas and it's not even close now I would recommend you maybe you get Lawrence Taylor and run him on the other side, but again, you have Ricky, you have Ricky Jackson there, so it's gonna be tough. Derek Thomas powered up and coming up gets 89 speed, 93 excel, 90 strength, 90 tackle. Um, he gets 88 play rec, 88 block shed, 92 power move, 91 finesse move, guys. Like he's going to be an absolute monster off the edge with that speed. Do you understand? Like you could literally do like fake blitzes and drop him into a zone or anything you want to do, and he will be able to kind of play because that speed. Like he's going to be able to play things. Like he's not a standstill. Uh, you know, a standstill block, a pass rusher. Of course, he won't be good in the zone. But with that speed, he can catch people on edge, on the off the edge. He can pick up a pitch. He can do a lot of things, guys. He can, if he gets a pick or picks up a fumble, he's probably taking it back to the house with that level of speed. With you know, with a good head start. Derek Thomas is insane. Absolutely insane. One of the newest cards we just received since Carry Fast. Next, guys, we got our. Of course, we got our middle linebacker. Now I went straight to right outside linebacker. So back to middle linebacker, Patrick Willis. Guys, Patrick Willis is the best middle linebacker in the game right now. He gets 90 speed powered up, which again is insane for a middle linebacker. 92 excel, 84 strength, 91 tackle, 91 play rec, 88 block shed, 91 hit power, 81 zone. Now here's the thing. You can go with lockdown on him, which will only get his zone up to like an 86-ish, 87 powered up. But you probably want to go with run stuff on him. If you're able to get a few guys on your team with run stuff and get his block shed to a 90, he's going to be absolutely insane. And at that point, don't use him. Let him play his own game so that you can see the block shed and you can see him stop the run. But of course, you could get the zone up. I mean, run stuff's hard because you don't want to run too many dual cams, especially this year when you could just run one, one, one overall and get like plus fives. It's a cornerback. DRC is still the best cornerback in Madden. I mean, you can't really argue that. He's six foot two. He's going to get 93 speed powered up with above 90 zone, above 90 man, above 90 uh, press, above 90 jump, above 90 agility. All on one card. That's why his price is so crazy. He's going to drop and crash at some point in price when another thing comes out that's like comparable. But for now, DRC is still that guy. And then, of course, number two, it really just depends on what you value more. I mean, I think Antonio Cromartie and Deion Sanders kind of round out the rest. People, some people said Cromartie wasn't that good, but I think he's fine. He's six foot two again. Very similar. Again, he's going to have above 90 zone, above 90 man, above 90 press, above 90 play rec, above 90 excel, above 90 agility, above 90 jumping, 92 speed, six foot two. I mean, you really can't go wrong with that. And then De Deion Sanders, if he, it's up to you guys on that one because, of course, the only thing with him is his press a little bit lower right now. So if you're running man press and that's your meta right now, you don't got to rock that, but it's up to you. Next, we have free safety. For free safety, Devin McCourty's pretty good. Okay, so if you just want to shut a lockdown guy, Devin McCourty's insane because he does get up to, I believe, 99 uh, zone coverage uh, chemmed up. Uh, powered up, sorry. Powered up, he does get up to a 99 zone. He will get up to like a 94, 95 man. And as well, we'll get up to like a 99 play recognition. So as a pure lockdown safety that's going to be able to play zone, like he's your guy. But if you're more of a guy that wants to have a chance of forcing a fumble or stopping the run and so on and so forth, you want to take it down a notch to the 90 overall range. Now, you want to go Brian Dawkins because Brian Dawkins is going to be able to get you the hit power and the zone you're looking for. You'll only get a 95 zone, you know, powered up and a 91 hit power. And he's going to be a decent amount slower. So, I mean, it's, it's got, guys, play it up to what you think, but... I'm personally going with probably Devin McCourty because he does get like plus three speed on him as well as plus 10 zone and like plus 15 to 17 man coverage. And you know, the hit power is not there or anything, but he's a free safety. Let him stay over the top. And of course, this year fumbles just aren't all there. So, I mean, I don't know if it's, it's, it's really that unjustifiable to go with the guy like Devin McCourty this time around. And his price is up there for a reason. Despite being an LTD, him and Saquon were a great drop. Now, strong safety. I, I don't, I don't know, I really don't think it's Troy Palomalu. I, I honestly think Troy Palomalu is good, but I think there's a better option at a lower, at a lower range. 
and that's probably going to be so taylor mays or jamal adams is probably your guy i mean i still think jamal adams might be the best strong safety in the game because he gets 90 speed he gets 90 man he gets 90 zone and he gets 90 hit power like all above and above 90 play rec and he's six foot one so i think he's the most well if you want the most well-rounded safety in madden 21 you're going with jamal adams now if you want just a super athletic one like probably slightly more athletic it's going to be taylor mays he's going to be again it's only plus one speed though but taylor mays I don't think he's better than Jamal. Like, I mean, overall, like he's the more top end, you know, six foot three, 90 speed and everything. But Jamal, Jamal Adams gets better man by in the 90th threshold, which is a huge difference for man blitzing. He gets above 90 zone as well. They both have the same hit power. Uh, Jamal Adams has better play rec, but it, he's less tackle and all. But again, Jamal Adams, I think is better overall. It comes down to what you think, but I'm personally going with Jamal Adams and you could use your power passing him, which is super important as well. And then Guys, that's pretty much it for the video because I'm not going to go over kicker as well. Again, that's preference. What, what it's, you know, it's kicker. It's just you, you pick a stat. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you are into the channel, make sure you're down below. Come join the Poodle Squad, like the video, turn the noti bell, and of course, comment down below Poodle Squad. And if you guys haven't already, subscribe to the channel as well. If you guys need coins to pick money of these players, head over to Mart Reserve down below. You can buy the players directly on there as well as pick up some coins that are discounted right now for most feared. Shoot, use code Poodle for 15% off. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Enjoy the 50 video that you should have seen already. That's about it. I'm out. Peace.